This is a brand new Ender 5 Pro that I just purchased um, early January of 2021. Um, so I ordered the BL Touch Kit um, and I have it on its side right now because I was running wires on the bottom. But I installed the BL Touch Kit, um, ran the wires and then you got to the part where it's time to go through the instructions and this BL touch kit is the version 1.3 which is what was available on their website um, so anyways it goes through a bunch of instructions about updating firmware and if you notice this board is not at all what that board is so um, after some soul searching on Reddit and figuring out what the hell is going on, um, I've found out that this documentation isn't meant for this board at all. Um, and what actually needs to be done is you need to go onto Creality's website um, and find the right BL Touch for your um, printer. So if you go on to Creality, right, and you go to their main website, go to support, go to download, find your printer. So I have the Ender 5 Pro. Okay, so this is where I messed up. I was having an issue where um, when I flashed or added uh, the bin file that I needed for the BL Touch to work, I actually selected the wrong board. Um, so I just wanted to make this video in case anybody else had the same problem. But this is where you need to pay attention to is if you have the 32-bit and what, what this first number is. Um, so that that board's actually the 4.2.2. We have BL Touch and we have the adapter board. Um, so make sure you download that. Once you open that, um, you'll see right there. Okay, this is the bin file that we need. So you're just going to drag and drop that onto the uh, SD card that you have. And you need to make sure that there's nothing else on the SD card. Um, I have no folders, no other files, just the .bin file. So if you come back over to here, um, what you need to do then is have your computer, or sorry, your printer shut off. You're then going to put in the SD card with the only the .bin file on it. Turn on the printer. Okay. Now, when you're when you do that, it already has a bootloader on it, so it's actually going to show the screen blank, but it's going to be on, and then it's going to load the .bin file that you just put on it. Um, once it's done, it'll take you to the main menu, and you should be able to then go to Prepare and Auto Home, and everything should move now. And now you can see it comes to the center like it's supposed to. It drops the bed down, deploys the arm, and now it's going to touch off. And it's going to do it one more time. And there you go.